This is a quick overview of Newton's third law of motion. Newton's third law states, if a first object exerts a force on a second object, then the second object exerts a force of equal magnitude but opposite in direction on the first object. In this diagram, we are representing the two objects as A and B. The forces are represented by arrows and labeled as the force exerted on the object, comma, by the other object. As with all vectors, the negative sign means a direction. Because forces may result in acceleration, i.e., a change in velocity, we will do a quick demonstration using the simulation from phet.colorado.edu's collision lab. In this simulation, We will use equal masses in an elastic collision. We start out with equal but opposite velocities. Observe the result. The masses rebounded with equal but opposite velocities. Let's explain this mathematically. The net force on each object, in this case, was by the other object. These forces, by Newton's third law, must be equal but opposite in direction. Hence, the acceleration must have been opposite each other, and because of the equal mass, must have had the same magnitude. Hence, during the time of interaction, which is equal between the objects, the change in velocity must have been the same. Let us now repeat the same experiment for unequal masses. We will start our experiment with the two objects again having equal magnitude velocities but opposite in direction but now the second mass is two and a half times greater than the first mass Notice that this time, while both objects rebounded, 
The second object's change in velocity was a lot less. If we examine Newton's second and third laws in conjunction with each other, you will see why this is the case. The force of one object on the other still has the same magnitude. The second object has greater mass and has the same force will result in less acceleration. Again, because the time of interaction is the same between the objects, this results in a smaller change in velocity. Before viewing the second half of this video, make sure to review the construction of free body diagrams. An important use of Newton's third law is to construct free body diagrams in multi body problems. In this example, we have box A on top of box B, box B being pulled by a rope. And we must keep box A non slipping on top of box B. As always, you still need a coordinate system. You will need to take apart the system into the two objects. You must draw a separate free body diagram for each. At this stage, you still consider the force by one object on the other as an outside force. Hence, you include it in your free body diagram for each. Notice the matching pairs according to Newton's third law. For each force exerted by A on B, there is a matching force by B on A of equal magnitude but opposite in direction in the other diagram. When combined, the whole system must have only forces from the outside of the system acting on it. The internal matching pairs must disappear. In this example, the internal normal force and frictional force must disappear.
the external forces are still the tensional force by the rope, the gravitational force on the masses, and the normal force at the bottom of the system. As an important disclaimer, notice that when we drew the diagrams separately, the force of gravity of A does not act on B. It is still the normal force by A that acts on B. There are many more applications of Newton's third law other than just collisions. The recoil of a gun is a common example. The basis of rocketry is an important application. Figuring out orbits to figure out masses of stars or extrasolar planets is also an application.